Good morning. Good morning. It's 58 degrees, the warmest morning just about. I'm even in my shorts. It's 8.45 and I'm just lingering in town. There were three guys in my room and then there were two bicyclists who were from the Netherlands. We all shared a bathroom. I go in and the toilet seat was up, right? And I'm like, damn. Didn't they teach them that, you know, they should put the toilet seat down, you know? That's my first thought. And my second thought was, wait, maybe I should leave it, leave it up, you know? I'm outnumbered here. I had breakfast with those two guys, those two boys from the Netherlands. Oh my God, did they snore. Holy smokes. I think I tried to get some of it on video last night, but oh, I had to get a second pillow and put it over my head. But these are the very nice guys. And they're gonna be arriving in Santiago today because they're on bicycles and they got like 51 kilometers to go. like 10 degrees. Let's get rid of this jacket. There's one that's open and you can see the corn inside. Nice. So it's nice to know that they, they still do that, you know, just like the old days and this custom is still retained. Some things need to be retained, passed on, continued, appreciated. Guys, Layla. Look at it's more than my pinky finger, each one.
So I've been walking for a little over two hours. I've gone eight kilometers. We're gonna stop in this little town, hopefully, and get a uh, orange juice. I'm a little parched. Just climbed a big hill. Beautiful morning. Here's what's in front of me. A couple of pilgrims and a little town. Looks promising. I'm not sure what I want. Oh yeah. Cafe con leche. Is that different than a uh, cappuccino? Bananas. Yeah. Bananas. So, just came down down this mountain into that valley and back up the hill. So, I'm a little winded, but and I'm a little low on water. I only have one kilometer left, so I'm not worried about it. just got to my destination town. I've been walking for four hours um, and it's 81 degrees out. I, I think Francine doesn't like walking in the uh, hot weather, but I trained in it, so I don't mind it at all. It could be another 10 degrees hotter, I wouldn't care. So let's see if we can't find a supermarket, maybe find some of that dried pineapple. Okay, uh, just past the albergue, Francine was there. Uh, first in line, um, they're waiting for the doors to open. They're not open yet. So there's about six people behind her just waiting in the baking sun. I'm gonna go up here to see if I can find a supermarket. It's almost a kilometer away, but there's no point in me just standing in the hot sun. Hello. Do not have dried pineapple. I'm tempted to get some of the apricots though. Pre-packaged. These are all refrigerated. That's great. This is my favorite salad right here. It's called the New Yorker. It's pre-made. Yum. Let's do that. I'm just waiting for the host. Still waiting on the host to get here. Hey, there's steep unten. There's unten in the room, but. Well, we are here in the albergue, and look at these cute little pods. Francine has uh, brought my bags up. Yeah. And, and made my bed. Right on. And here's Francine's little cubicle. And, and she's got her and we she's got her own window. Yeah. Brava. It's okay. I said I would do that. Yeah. Tonight, tonight. And look, look at the balcony. Oh, it's nice. I know. It's nice. You can sit. Relax. Oh, okay. Put some some clothes out there if I need. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tell you something really quick. These are the um, all of the Caminos 
of a Spain and they all lead to Santiago, okay? And this is the one we took, this is Camino Frances. And we're about there.